Well, lately I've been running into a lot of people who keep telling me that they hate math. Hate math. Hate school. Hate math. And uh, that drives me crazy, because all we are mathematical equations, and the whole universe, everything, everything that is can be described by a mathematical equation. So when I hear someone say, I hate math, it's like I hear them say, I hate myself, I hate everything around me, I hate the universe. Now, I know they don't really mean that, but it really is kind of what they're saying. Now, lately I've been looking at this uh, new way that they're teaching algorithms of math to elementary school students. And I am not sure if I think it is the most efficient way to do it. Uh, we're all familiar with the traditional algorithm, and I will put a video over, a link over on the side, so that you can go look at this if you want. It's like 10 minutes. It's a little boring, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, it might help you. Help me with it. Help me with this thought. Uh, I don't know if that is an efficient way to teach children how to multiply and divide. I got a little confused doing that. That's how I do math in my head. But I don't know if I learned that the first time I learned how to divide and multiply, I would have been very good at it. I don't like the whole cluster problem thing. So I got online, and the good school districts around me don't use that. They use traditional algorithms. Uh, the really bad school district in my city uses the conceptual mathematic ideas. And I actually went to school there for a semester, so I really know how bad that school is. It is wretched. So I wouldn't do anything they do. In fact, if they use it, I would not endorse it. But that's beside the point. Anyone here is fairly knowledgeable about elementary students and their ability to learn math. Tell me what you think about this whole uh, new conceptual math. If you have kids and you have to help them with this new conceptual math, what do you think about it? I think it's a little difficult. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so yeah, math is totally awesome. And what I've been trying to do lately is whenever somebody says that, I don't even mind them that, you know, maybe they weren't really into it as a kid, but they give it a shot now, they might like it. Math is pretty neat. And like today happened, I was at the, the cashier at the grocery store and I was paying for my items. So I poured pay for my items, and some lady bought a whole garden of cigarettes, which we won't go through what my other dialogue was at that time. Kind of like, go. Oh, $24.99 worth of debt. That's the thing. I'm a little crazy. And the lady couldn't tell her how much $9 off her cigarettes were, which made me sad and think of this new conceptual math idea where people are walking away not really understanding how to do the problems, just how to think about them. <sighs> And when I said, hey, you know, maybe maybe you would like it, maybe you just didn't like it when you're in school, she told me she went to a Catholic school, which really didn't surprise me. Hey, Catholics. Yes. Uh, women should learn math. She said that they did, like, home economics and choir and that they didn't really push math. And I hope that we're all past that point as people and thinking that women need to learn how to cook and clean and sew and not how to educate themselves so they can educate their children so we can have a better society all together. Yes. Math rocks!